All right, this is the GAC Weekly presented by the Great American Conference. I'm Joey McWilliams. I'm joined now by Coach Terry Weber and Coach, or excuse me, and pitcher Caitlin Brown for Southern Nazarene. Now let's get through the day really quickly because we've just finished up a triple header today at Bentonville. The Great American Conference Softball Tournament 2018 edition has been concluded today. Three shutouts. And we got here like this, Arkansas Tech shut out Southern Nazarene in the first game of the day, 6 nothing. That was the final there. Southern Nazarene in the winner's bracket dropped to the elimination bracket. Arkansas Tech moves on, and they'll be playing on championship Sunday. In the second game of the day, it was an elimination game. It was Harding and Southern Arkansas, the number seven team in the country, and the number one team in the tournament, the regular season champion, Southern Arkansas Mule Riders, staved off elimination and did it by way of an exciting route coming down to the bottom of the seventh inning. Marina Duran hit a sacrifice fly to center field, advancing Mason Grace in for the score, and so Southern Arkansas defeated Harding 1-0. That means they move on to take on Southern Southern Nazarene, and it was a rematch of yesterday's game with uh, Southern Nazarene, and one in which the Crimson Storm won 5-4. A bit of an upset, no doubt about that, but today, maybe not as much, and it came down to, once again, the seventh inning. Southern Nazarene gets one run in the fifth, and it was enough to stand thanks to the pitching of Caitlin Brown, first team all GAC player. We get to speak now with Coach Terry Weber from Southern Nazarene, and Coach uh, your team has just been fantastic. Now, we've talked a couple of times about uh, what this has meant to you and how your program has been taking steps season by season to get to this point. Talk about then where they are now. Well, they asked me if we won this game, would it be one of my top three coaching memories? And I said, no, I don't think it made it. I think it might be the best right now, might be the top one. So I can't say enough about this group. They're fighters. They believe in each other, and uh, they worked really, really hard and kept believing no matter what the circumstance. Very proud of them. Well, it was a different feel from t uh, yesterday's game then to today's game, and, and uh, there was no doubt that Caitlin was going to have the opportunity to pitch in the circle, and she'd already pitched once today. So coming back again, she had a little bit of rest near the end of the first game as, as things got a little bit challenging for the team, and, and Arkansas Tech uh, was building up a lead there. Uh, talk about her play then over the course of the day and, and just a, as the tension mounted. When it gets tough, she just gets tougher. Um, she might bend a little, but she isn't going to break. And she knows what she needs to do and just uh, really smart. And just a little bulldog on the, on the mound. She's not going to go. She's not going to back down, and she's not going to um, not give in. She's just going to make it happen, and that's what she does. And she relies on her defense, and the defense brought us through too. So, Let's talk about your team. One more thing. You, you had a different lineup from the first game into the second game. Uh, a couple of changes with your personnel, but completely restructured the lineup from the first game this morning to where you were this afternoon. Talk about the changes you made then and what that meant. Well, since we, we had some injuries and some things happen and we haven't really been able to find our hitting rhythm that we were in during the season, so it just hasn't been working real well the last couple. Of, so we thought, hey, let's try something different. You know, you got to go with some speed, speed kills, and uh, those kids came through and we just mixed it up a little and good things happened. We got that the only run we needed. I'd like to add one more, but, you know, we'll take that one. It, it got us through. It looked like in the stands that heart medication uh, was going to be purchased at a higher rate here in Bentonville. Do you think so? Probably. Okay. Probably, for sure. Well, yeah. good luck to you all tomorrow, Coach. Thank you. Joey, thanks a lot. It's a privilege always to talk to you and at the GAC. You guys do a great job. Thank, Thank you. you very much. We get to speak now with Caitlin Brown, the winning pitcher today, and uh, what a performance. There, uh, there was no doubt, I think, that anyone thought that uh, you were going to be in the circle today uh, from the first game, and, and if you wound up playing a second game, then to be there once again. Uh, what did it feel like to get back out there and, and to just be there with the, the game on the line today? Um, I love competing for sure. Um, I've always been a, competer, a competitor, but my mom has always called me a competitor out of the womb. Um, those kinds of games are the best games to play. I'd rather play that kind of game than a 15-0 to zero ball game because I just love competing. And um, when my team has my back, it makes it a lot of fun. Your team did have your back today also. The defense looked good out there. There were uh, balls that uh, you would coax the batters into hitting high and, and far and wide, and, and you had a fantastic defensive performance around you. 
Yeah, they really did um, a lot of pop-ups to Kristen Shoemaker, um, the outfield. They, I mean, I think we caught every single pop-up they hit. Um, I don't know if they were just trying to go yard or what, but it worked out. Um, they popped it up a lot, so it worked. And then tomorrow, Southern Nazarene gets to play for a championship for the first time for in the history of the uh, softball program in the Great American Conference. Talk about what it means to get to be a part of that. Uh, it means a lot. I know it means a lot for our whole team. Um, we're really excited. We're trying to celebrate right now and not worry exactly about that tomorrow yet. But um, we're going to make history, and I'm, we're really excited. All right, well, enjoy the celebration, and I won't keep you any longer. Uh, Caitlin Brown, the winning pitcher today, as she was able to hold a one-run lead and make it stand, and Southern Nazarene advances then to the Great American Conference Softball Championship for the first time in program history. So that's where we're going to be tomorrow. Again, we're on location here in Bentonville, Arkansas, and we'll be here for the championship tomorrow. Be sure and tune in for that. It can be seen on the Great American Conference website, greatamericanconference.com. Click on the championships tab and then go down to, to the tournament page. So that's where we are, and we appreciate you watching the Great American Conference and the GAC Weekly. The GAC Weekly is presented by the Great American Conference. To hear this and more about the GAC and other college and high school sports, please visit oklomasports.net and arkansasports.net. Oh, and be sure and subscribe. We need you to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Go to youtube.com. And search for Midwest Sports Net. That's new to me, okay? Go to the YouTube channel, search MidwestSports.net, and subscribe. Thank you.